I am the big guy Ryback, and I am here on Feed Me More Fitness Rebuilding Ryback. And today, I have found the bigger, better, badder version of myself, <laughs> only 12 minutes away from me here in Las Vegas, one of the world's strongest men, one of the world's strongest men in history, Nick Best. Welcome. Thanks, Robert. What are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to do deadlifts today. We're going to get my core we're gonna get functioning your... and strong again. and Yep. We're going to get your core really strong. We're going to do deadlifts, zercher squats. And uh, rack pulls to start with, and then we'll move on from there. That's uh, my deadlifts are something I was telling you earlier. I've, um, I, I grew up, I never really had any uh, instruction in working with really skilled people in this area. Weight training is one of the things where I think we, a lot of people, you just start doing it. Mm -hmm. And now in this day and age, there's a lot of information. There's a lot, a lot of great research and things and people like you out there that have do trial and error and, and yeah, 30 slowly. years to become a success story yeah. as far as, but, but doing this over and over and over again. And. For me, if I want to go back to wrestling, I've learned I'm getting a second chance. I need to build an indestructible course. So that's what I've, I've reached out to you and uh, to come in here today. And whatever you want to do, I am, I'm all yours. All right. But a funny story, I do have a good little, uh, I don't know what year it was, but I remember walking through Walgreens. <laughs> and I was off the road with WWE. Yeah. Yep. And I look, I go, that guy looks a lot like me. And we stopped and then and came over. We had a conversation. And you actually, people used to call you Ryback. Yep. Now, I, people now call me Nick. Nick <laughs> you're not a big star. I'm done. I'm washed up. <laughs> I don't believe that. No, no. And so, and I, and I go with it. I, I, I am you sometimes now. So. Oh, that's great. Because you got me in trouble. We eat the same sushi place. Yes. And my wife went for lunch there. And he's like, oh, your husband was just here. Because the guy at the sushi joint thought, you know, Ryback was me. Yes. And so he's telling that to my wife, and I get a phone call from my wife. You were eating sushi without me. I'm like, no, honey, I wasn't. I'm on the other side of town. I had to have been there alone, maybe. Mm -hmm. I used to go to the, the Kaizen Sushi yep. when I came off the road. I'd go, go get a meal there before yep. anybody lived up here. It was always quiet. Good thing I wasn't on a date there. That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> a lot worse. <laughs> I probably got a shot when I Those sushi home. chefs would have thought you were pretty good, though. That's good. <laughs> Well, here we are, and uh, we're going to have a good one today, so let's do it. Good start. We're going to deadlift today, and we're going to deadlift without shoes. The reason why you deadlift without shoes is if you got you know this much on your heel on your shoe you're deadlifting the bar that much further yeah. why pull the bar further than you have to so today we're going to deadlift without shoes we'll start with that i'm going to put some uh, uh knee sleeves over my shins yeah. so i can pull the bar up your shins because every half inch the bar is away from your leg add 50 pounds to the weight really? so you always want to drag it straight up your shins and straight up your thighs right. sumo there's conventional it's gonna be wherever your foot placement is, where you can get down and grab the bar the most comfortable is, so that when you start pulling the bar off, yeah. you shove your knees forwards and you push your hips forwards, yep. and it all comes straight up from there. You wanna lift it in a straight line as much as possible. Yeah. So, let's see you line up. Let's see I typically go with about, usually when I'm using like that vert pull up, probably mm -hmm. usually about right here. Mm -hmm. um, Have you played with your feet in other places? Not a lot. Okay. I've almost my, uh, with Brandon and Acacia, I remember two years ago, I would do a little narrower and I've never really, I pretty consistently have lifted. How much do you leg press? I haven't leg pressed it. I quit doing that a long time ago. Okay. Um, I can tell you just lifting wise, even at my peak, I never really went over five, 600 pounds. Okay. I always stayed in that range, mm -hmm. no matter how I felt. Okay. Let me see something. Put your feet um, a little bit closer together. Not much, but a little bit. Like maybe an inch from each side. In. About there. Uh, come in just a little bit more. Okay, now point your toes out. There. All right. Now reach down and grab the bar. See how that feels. Okay. See how you can sit back more? Yep. So you feel how you're sitting on your heels now? Yeah. Pull from your heels, dig the bar into your shins, 
Why not your hands in this too, by the way? There you go. Right. Hand into you? There, straight up. Yeah. How's that feel? That feels good. Yeah, that looks good too. Yeah. I can actually squeeze up a lot better. Yeah. See how his butt shaved down? Yeah. He's built like you. Yeah. His arms get into the way with his knees. So as you're doing it, when you get down to the bottom, yep. so go all the way down. Now push your knees forwards, get on your heels, go straight up. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had anybody tell me that with the knees. That's simple. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but you see how your lats aren't getting in the way when you go at the top? Yeah. yeah. Just the grip, extending the grip out a little bit too has made a huge difference. I was in my own way and didn't even. Yep. Yeah, Kristen Rhodes came a couple weeks ago and her best deadlift from the floor is like 495. Yeah. You know, and she's been eight times America's strongest woman. I had her move her feet just a little bit different. She pulled 565 that day. So it's, same day. It's same day. So it's little things like that on your technique that fit your body. Yeah. It's the, the, the best deadlift technique is the, te best is the technique that you can pull the most weight one from without getting hurt. hurt. And it's gonna be different from everyone. There is no picture perfect yeah. deadlift technique. Is that the technique that you t tend to use also? Yeah, I'm a little even more narrow yeah. than that you are. But it's very similar and we're built kind of similar. Yeah. So, and it's just, I could see when you were pulling, your, your hip was still coming up before you came off the ground. Andrew was telling me that. So we, moving your feet into that position eliminated that. And then pushing your knees forward, you come straight up with it. Now, if I'm deadlifting, not from just any time getting a position like that, that's the key for me. Then mm -hmm. that's, that's all it. getting in the right position before you pull. So a little bit more narrow. There you go. And then toes out just a little bit more. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel just a lot stronger, like more confident in it too that I'm not, it's not putting on my back. I can actually feel it pulling it like. You're using your legs. Yeah. Which I've never been able to put the connection together with people. I can never feel it. <laughs> you see how when he's down at the bottom, his hips. It's almost parallel like a squat, and he's able to use his legs. The other thing to think about is when you're down there, when you grab a hold of the bar, yep. think, push really tight and really hard, almost like you're trying to take a shit. Yep. Just squeeze your lower abdomen before you pull the bar off. Yeah. Now, if you're um, getting into position mm -hmm. for, a, for a big lift, Mm -hmm. Oftentimes you'll see people just go and they go right down and they come right up. Mm -hmm. Someone like me, I have to take a little more effort probably. Making sure you're in the correct position. Yeah. But once you get down and grab a hold of the bar, as soon as you push forwards and pull it in, yeah. pull it up. Yep. Don't. No hesitation. Don't. The longer you're down there, the lo you're, you're under tension when you're down there. Yeah. So if you're, you're burning energy when you're down there. Yep. So don't stay down there real long. Okay. The key on this too is probably repetitions. Mm -hmm over and over and over again and making the second nature. Now, I do a lot of touch and go things for reps when yes. I, on my rep week, and I touch it I, I touch it to the floor and I pull it right back off. I don't take the tension off the bar. Yeah. So that means everything's engaged constantly that whole time. So for the 30 to 50 seconds that I'm pulling, the whole thing's engaged the whole time. Even though the weight's only 500 pounds, I pull between 20 and 25 reps with that it, it, Only 500 pounds, which is, <laughs> no, it's, but, yeah. but it keeps it under constant tension, yeah. which keeps your core engaged the whole entire time. Yeah. Works the shit out of your core. Yeah. You're great at the endurance stuff too, though. It's, you're like the, I, I like the endurance stuff because that's where the, the real, uh, but when you're doing the endurance stuff, you really got to hate yourself. Yeah. And I really don't like myself. So it's, <laughs> it's a good way to, you're just willing to hurt more. You gotta be really willing to hurt. That's what I'm doing with my YouTube. I do these dumb mental challenges, like with hot stuff, and I yeah, because I like to like I, I like the mental aspect, but it's like a I feel like if I overcome it, I'm mentally so much tougher 
and it makes me, that's where I get my happiness from in weird ways, so. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Now, like, what, uh, so let me ask you this, mm -hmm. Nick, for someone like me, and I've been trained, and again, always kind of had wrestling in mind and staying healthy, mm -hmm. but I, I love lifting, I love, I love powerlifting, I love aspects of bodybuilding, I love just lifting, I love conditioning mm -hmm. stuff. Someone like me, if the goal is to have an indestructible core, how many times a week, ideally, should I be deadlifting? Once. Just once a week? And even then, deadlifting, you're gonna to wanna to pull heavy from the floor Yes. once every three weeks. Okay. The next week, it's super heavy rack pull. The week after that, it's uh, deadlift for reps. Yeah. And you just go every other, every three weeks like that. Yeah. And then you'll still do some rack pulls on other things, but not as heavy. Okay. Um, you'll do zercher squats. You'll add those in, uh, stuff like that to help your core. But you don't want to overtrain it either. Yeah. And the muscles got to heal all the way. The the guy who's going to win is the guy that heals all the time. Yeah. In the end, the guy that heals the most wins the most. Yeah. And a lot of people don't get that. So you don't want to overtrain it either. I told you I was going to go work out after this. I probably, I have a feeling I'm not after today's over. Well, I, I tell you what, if you do that, I'm going to be really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and as high as you already are on my status, you're going to be that much higher. If you're able to do that. that looks good. Do you see how you can engage your whole legs and all of your hips at the same time? Yeah. Yep, right into the chin. That's good, we're not working out with this, we're warming up. <laughs> Just trying to get the feel for it. Yeah, no, you got it. <laughs> the cool part is on the floor, you can kind of see where you put your feet. Yeah. <laughs> so me, I... These I'm, are going to be drenched after, probably. Yeah, I'm in here. Wow. Because... I hit my my yeah. arms, hit my legs, plus my hips kind of tight too. Yep. So it really allows me to still use my leg. So I'm here, very similar. Yeah. See, so, you know, I even move my hands out a little bit. Yep. What is the normal weight you typically like to work with on this? I mean, I'll probably obviously always changing, I'd imagine, right? It, it's changing because you get ready for contests, yeah. you're doing reps. So it depends on what I have going on. So like at, at, at contest 2016, when we were at the Giants Live Show in Indiana, it was a 760 pound deadlift or 65 pound deadlift for reps. And I pulled eight reps in 60 seconds. So all the way up, all the way down from the floor. Yeah. That's so it just depends. Other ones, it's an outright max on an axle. Yeah. Which is weird because you use straps on an axle. Yeah. Whatever. And, you know, you pull in the 900 pound range up on that. Yeah. Unbelievable. There's a video of me before a wrestling match in, in WWE on Monday Night Raw. There was a weight room and one of the wrestlers, Daniel Bryan, challenged because he did like 325 and he was really happy and I in the <laughs> locker room. We shit talk each other. I go, that's shit. And uh, he's a smaller guy. Sure. He was really happy, and I was just trying to rain on his parade. And he goes, well, I bet you can't do it 30 times or whatever, something. And I said, uh, and I go, oh, I can. I, I'm up early, like in an hour to go wrestle. I'm in gear already. He, I didn't know there was a weight room in the arena. There's a weight room, so he calls me out in front of all the wrestlers. So I, of course, have to accept and go over there. But if you go, what the form is so fun. I go back, I remember how bad my back was so tight because I was just using my back mm -hmm. and it just you just telling me that just makes me cringe at how I used to lift and, but what I thought was getting away was it wasn't though it ultimately caught up so yeah just this right here I could feel the difference and actually using your hips everything I read about I could never feel it no matter how much I was trying just one little adjustment like that or two little adjustments it's crazy isn't it? yeah I've never heard anybody say move your shins forward like that mm -hmm. and instantly go into position mm -hmm. yeah Nice. 
further. Feels great. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's all the areas it's supposed to be in. And it's heavy. That's awesome. Wow. Feed him more. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, no, we're going to get a power lift again. No, we're going to no, feed you some more weight. Yeah. <laughs> It'll fall apart. Yeah, it's... I, I tell you what, we, we can get you into some power lifting, too. No. I mean, because all the way around, you're just going to build a better strength base. Plus, I mean, we can do things like farmer's walk. Yeah. That's really going to help your core. I don't think we'll do that today, because when we get down to Zurchers and some of this other stuff, plus the rack pulls, your core is going to be... Yeah. And then we'll do the sled drags and stuff like that, but... Like farmer's walk, because you're carrying the weight here, yep. and it's heavy and it's swinging around, it's all core. Yeah. The yoke, yeah. which you're picking that up, you got it on your shoulders and you're going down the street with that. Do ones for distance, not necessarily for weight or yep. speed, but do them for distance and your core it will literally be fried. I tell people too with wrestling, and I was doing this five minutes a week, and guys that are 200 something pounds, they would jump, and I never even thought about this, so. And this is stuff now and it could teach guys wrestling and then the wrestling business, but that want to try to be power wrestlers and learning from these mistakes. Guys would jump and I would catch them every single night. And I'm not even thinking though, bracing myself of, cause in wrestling, you try to stay as loose as possible to keep right. breathing. Cause you don't want to blow up. Right. But when you do that stuff, you need to be tight and engaged, but doing this stuff, you need to do the core stuff to be able to do that. Cause what happened is what it ultimately it all caught up with me after about five years. Yeah and doing it five minutes a week, so. Well, that, well there's some other stuff, cause like the sandbags? Yeah. That'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the sandbags. <laughs> so like the sandbags, they're about 280 pounds. Yeah. You pick them up from the ground and you carry them 20 to 25 meters, you drop them on the sled and then drag them backwards. Yeah. So when you're catching the guy, you go for a nice little walk with them. Yeah. And drop them down, yeah. Where it'll it'll this work. Is, it'll cross over a lot. Man, this is. <clears throat> You're gonna make me a lot of money, Vic. Yeah, that's the like idea. <laughs> Feels pretty solid. Yeah. Start putting on the belt. <laughs> Your turn. How many days a week do you take off, Nick? Usually you. I only train three days a week. Really? The rest is. The training's important, but the rest is more important. More important, is it? I just did, because I've been into the, the. Got into fasting for me, mm -hmm. from the health benefits, because it's really helped with a lot of things, with uh, inflammation and stem mm -hmm. cells, actually. But I just, like the other day, I did a 48 hour fast, no training, because you really can't with that, because you're. Right. Depleted, and but I felt so good by the end of it, and I was like, I need to take more days off. off. And that's what he says. We train a lot by feel. Yeah. I mean, there'll be days I'll come out here, <laughs> we'll start warming up, and we're like, and he's just like, okay, cool, yeah. and we'll just shut it down. I'm my own worst enemy on that because wrestling, you go into the thing. You is, have to go no matter what. Yeah. So you get in that thing of just you got to just keep up. But what happens is it burns you out, and, and then you break. And that business, the business now is a lot of little guys, which is, they can get away with because they're not doing, but with this training and training hard, it, it, it eats away at you with all well, that. You know Adam Shear? Yeah, he yeah. Ron. He was, he was a strong guy. Yeah. I was at the contest. I remember when they hired him down at NXT and he was yeah. all beefed up because he was like, he lost, he, he knew he had to drop some weight because mm -hmm. of the, the endurance and everything, but the, the toll it takes on your body. Yeah, we did a contest. He won the amateur Arnold, turned pro. Yeah. And then we did a contest in Warwick, Canada, and he was just like, yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm, this, this contest is so hard. If they need people from World's Strongest Man, they'll pull people from it. Yeah. You didn't move up one step because you go from amateur to pro. Yeah. The contest we were at was like a third level pro contest. Wow. Like World's Strongest Man competitors contest. Yeah. And I think I got second and he was 10th out of 12. Man. And he's just like, oh my God, I got a letter from Vince McMahon at home, I'm like, honestly, you're gonna make more money doing that. Yeah, yeah. I go, if you have that opportunity, take it. Cause yeah. you did, Yeah. Ran with it. And then the, the thing is, is three or four years down the road, he would be a, 
he would have been a threat to win. That's he what had, I, I, he I, had that kind yeah, of. Yeah, Robert was mentioning he talking about really the two. Did. Versus, I mean, competing against him, he really did. I was like, shit. The only reason why he's not doing better is because he was making little amateur mistakes as yeah. he's going through things. If he wasn't, if he wouldn't make those mistakes, he probably would have made the top three. Wow. But in that, he's doing level, all right now too over there. He's doing really <laughs> good. Yeah. Over there. But it's that type of stuff. Those little things make a massive difference. Yes. Especially at that level when you're competing against the absolute best. Yes. Yeah. I mean, something that costs you two seconds yeah. can be the difference between first and eighth. Yeah. Beat him more. Wow. This is, we're not doing for, it's okay. been a few years too, of really not been able to. I, I was under the impression you weren't good at these. <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I'm not compared compared to you, I'm absolutely nothing. <laughs> this is, I'm trying to get good at this you stuff. You were getting better. No right or wrong, it's only what works, I feel like. Too. So like when I'm deadlifting, even in the contest, the bar's right here. Really? Yeah. Man. You just... I've been trying to get, so for me, because you know like the captains of crush hand grips? Mm -hmm. I've, I've had those, since I was a kid with Mark McGuire, I've been obsessed with, sure. with baseball and forms. The, uh, what's it called though? Um, I had a neck injury wrestling, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I used to be able to get those, the, for me, I think the level three was about what I was for, but maxed yeah. out what I was able to get. It took a long time to get that, and I had a neck thing and the nerves. I lost the strength of my left hand, but I see now like I could do a two and a half for for reps. I haven't been able to get back to the three yet because just with everything, I don't know if it was some nerve stuff, but it's some nerve stuff. But it will in time. Training heavy, I feel like that's the one thing I haven't been able with the grip. You know, four eighty five. I'll just pull this once and see. Yep. Down. Felt good. Once there's no fear, the mind is no hindrance. Yeah. So you can just go after yeah. it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Done a lot of what's the you're really good at doing the heavy weight for reps too. Yeah. What's the most deadlifts you've done uh for reps? Um, the amount. The heaviest weight I've done for reps is 765 and I did it for eight. Jeez. In a contest. And was, was that like, at Filthy Power the one or no? No, no, no. You did something over there too, didn't you? Filthy Power I pulled 500 for 25. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so it's kind of it's insane. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but the endurance that takes yeah. is yeah. And the what people don't realize is is you get through it, and you're in oxygen debt when you're done. Yeah. And the first two minutes, it's not too bad. You're breathing heavy, and then all of a sudden, it just hits you like a ton of bricks, and you'll be out of breath for like 15 minutes. Really. Yeah, trying to get your heart rate to slow back down. Sometimes it takes like an hour to get your heart rate back down to normal. I mean, people watching too, adrenaline, everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a whole other thing. That's a stressor that people don't realize getting that and performing in front of people no matter what is. Because you get a set of nerves. Yeah. I still get nerves. I love it. It's a, it there's a really cool feeling about it though, too. Yeah. The, the, like this is, actually, when I watched powerlifting, I was watching some stuff with Robert too before he came on, I was like, it reminds me of wrestling in a way, just yeah. kind of like the adrenaline with this, mm -hmm. and it because this has gained a lot of popularity over the years, and because it's real. It's it same. is, and the cool thing about powerlifting is, is you can pick your weight. Yeah, you know anybody can do it because you're picking, you are picking the weight you're going to do, yeah. and you're really you're competing against other people, but in the end you're competing against you, yeah. and if you beat you long enough, you're going to end up beating everybody else. Yeah, but in strongman. 
they determine the weight, and if you can lift it, you can lift it. You can't lift it, you can't yeah. lift it. And <laughs> that's the biggest difference between the two. Yeah. Is at the high levels, not everybody can do it. Yeah. In powerlifting, you just anybody can do it. Kind of like CrossFit. Anybody can usually pretty much go in and do yeah. CrossFit. The world's strongest man is the elite, as far as yeah. just the best of the best. Yeah, it's no joke. Yeah. No, I can imagine the pressure just. Yeah. And, and the, the crazy thing is, is you film. You got four days. Well, they're kind of, they changed the format last year, but you basically have four days to do six events and then you got a two day break yeah. and then you got three events and three events. So have you ever done an event and been completely healthy too? Or is it always something that really <clears throat> No, I've done stuff where I've been completely healthy. Yeah. The show in Indiana, um, I was completely healthy. Nice. Ooh. That's it. Oh good. <laughs> hey look at it. Good job. <laughs> I gotta give him a hard time while I can. He's been about 10 years. <laughs> I mean, the circle is complete. Once you are the master, now I am the master. You'll be so, sitting in a rocket chair over there watching it. I'll be sitting there. Yeah, looks good. Uh, <laughs> you'll be like, come on, old man. I'm like, oh, God. I'll get up there and I <laughs> Knees. Come on. Down. Good. That was strength. That was 535, by the way. <laughs> yep. Down. So when you're in a power lifting meet and you finish off your deadlift, you have to lower the bar and set it down. But when you're in your own gym and you're doing stuff, I mean, I, I'll start lowering it down and I just kind of like let it go because it's easier on my body to do that. But you just have to mentally rehearse in your contest and know that you got to put the bar down properly. And listen to commands. And listen to commands. All right, let's go, Ryder. Tight. Yep. Big air, push against the belt, pull it in. Come on now. You got it, it's already done. Come on! Could you do one more try? For me, that's the mental part of when I feel it. Yeah. And it, I don't feel anything in my back on that, but though I could feel its weight. Right. So I just need to get that sticking point of just driving past it as a mental block yep. for me. Get out of your head. Let's go. Let's go. Nice and tight. Commit. That a boy. We'll Sorry. get back. Yeah. It's okay. That's what I was you got saying. Got the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah. You just pulled five thirty-five. You yeah. haven't done that a long time. Probably three weeks from now. Yeah. It'll look like the five thirty-five. On my form on that was that. It is, is off. Is it off? You're off to the side and. I didn't feel right on it. You didn't drive your knees forwards. And yeah. Everything you did in all the last ones, you didn't do on that one. Now why is that? Do you think? Is it just you're mental? Mental. You're, you're trying to get into pulling the ball. Yeah. Just getting used to pulling heavy again. Yeah. I actually got my legs into that one a little bit as opposed to what I did before. Is this the heaviest you pulled in a bit right here? Or no? No, because I did that contest, yeah. but it's still like really close to the contest, yeah. so but didn't feel bad. How much was that? 705. 705. Made it look easy. Yeah. Just to your elbows and the bar hits your legs, that's it. Yep.
You're in my head? Yeah. <laughs> So what is this doing right here, Nick? This is all core stability strength. Okay. This just wants to pull you forward yep. and dump you on your face. So you're fighting with all your abdomen, all your erectors, everything to stay vertical yeah. instead of, or yeah, stay vertical and stay upright. So. So it's I don't I don't know if I've ever done these. Yeah. If I'm coming in, I'm just. Yep, you get it in the crease of your arm. Here, open up your arm. Yep. So get it right in there. Yep. And then cross your hands over. Like this? Yep. Yeah. Now with me, as far as... Don't squeeze with your biceps. Okay. And just let it hang. Okay. The only thing you have to do is keep your hands up. Just like that? Just like that. Man, he's easy to coach. <laughs> <laughs> How many reps? Three to five. I mean, this is warming up. You warm up to warm up, not to work out. What are these called and what do they work? These are called Zercher squats. They work your quads, they work all kinds of things, but the biggest thing that they do is they work your core stability. It's probably one of the best core stability training exercises you can do. Yeah. So, cause when you're planking, it still puts things, it's really funny, it, it yeah. still puts things at issue. Is, did you feel anything at issue? No. No. That's what I was telling you sometimes when I do the planks, I'll start getting a little bit of my leg. Yeah. And I don't know why. It's a weird, but this you won't, is... You won't get that from no. this. No. And it will make you squeeze far harder than a plank. Yeah. So for somebody who's got a back problem doing these, you're going to work the heck out of your core. Like you just train your abs and your lower back and all this other stuff, but you haven't moved it. Yeah. You haven't moved yeah. your spine, so it's, it's great. Yeah. And these feel really good. Yeah. Yeah, get, get them early, probably right about there. So weird. And watch how much easier it is to cross your hands. Like that? Yep. Elbows right into your side, and just let them hang. <clears throat> yep, it's not a fast thing, it's just controlled up, controlled down. You can come up fast. There you go. Nice. That felt good. That's good. It helped when you told me to keep my elbows kind of... In a good survival. Yeah. So what are we going to be doing here, Nick? They're kind of like rack pulls. Yeah. They're high pulls. So you're going to pull from just above your knee okay. up to a lockout on your deadlift. Yep. It allows you to overload the deadlift and your spine's in a good position. Okay. And what will happen is your upper back will end up getting a lot stronger. And when you get down on the floor to pull off the floor, your upper back will be able to handle the weight better. Yeah. And it makes the whole entire deadlift easier. Not just the lockout, but yeah. the whole entire deadlift. So we're going to do... Rifles. Good deal. <laughs> and then dig your knees into the bar, drop your hips down, lean back and pull straight up through it. There you go. It's all about shoving your hips forward. So then just like that? Yep, oh, yep. Just shove your hips forward. Perfect. You almost fell over backwards, so that's perfect. Nice. You feel your hips activate? Yeah. What are the benefits of, of adding these in? Well, the benefit of adding these in is it's going to allow you to overload because you're going to be above your knees with over 100 pounds more what you could deadlift from the floor 
which is going to give your trap and up, traps and upper back a lot of work. Yeah. It's also going to give your hips a lot of work to force through at the top when you finish off your deadlift. So the pull on your traps and upper back helps with the pull off the floor. The force through at the top when you move your hips through helps at the helps at the top. So it really helps just overall your deadlift. And you and you know, add these in. You don't do these every week necessarily. You say no. every other week. I'll it? do these every, like weeks? every other week or every three weeks. Okay. It just kind of depends on how I'm running my training yeah. that time. If I'm powerlifting, I'll do these every three weeks. Okay. If I'm doing strongman, like every other week. Right. So it just kind of depends on what I'm doing. Yep. What is so? How much are we doing here? You're you're doing, not we. So it's throwing by seven. Yeah, what are we doing now? We went up to nine oh five. All right, this is so. And you said when you're firing good, you can put on another hundred usually on this. Yeah, if when I'm back to full strength, yeah. I'll put yeah another two hundred. So on this that. is going light for you, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's getting back into it. It's working yeah. into where I need to be going. Man, how many are you gonna do on this? Don't know. Anywhere between one and ten. All right. You're a freak. <laughs> Sometimes you feel good, just keep going. Yeah. I, as, as you get older, when you feel good, take it. Go after it. Yep. It, and that day you're working out, you don't feel right, back off and slow down. And you do that regularly, right? Yeah. You go by how you feel. I go by how I feel. Yeah. So I, some days, I, I can, there's nothing I can't do. And other days, it's like, nah. You just turn around, yeah. go back inside and rest for another day and then start the next yep. day. Where's that? 645. 645. 645 pounds. Come on. Pop your shoes off. Pop your shoes off. But remember, the slack's gonna come out of the bar, so you gotta keep pulling. Is that when I go down, try to keep my back and everything yeah. tight anyways, right? Keep it, keep it tight the whole time. Come on! There it is. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One more. Five. Hold it. Just keep holding it. Just keep holding it right there. Yep. Nice. What a difference, huh? Yeah. I just had to sit back with it. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to do that when you have heels on. Yeah. That's why it's flat shoes or no shoes. I need you around all the time, Nick. I'm here. <laughs> I don't know what you're anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little, angel, little angel Nick over the shoulder here. Yeah. Nick, you brought us over here to the leg press. Yeah, no long rest, was it? Not a lot of rest after the, the, the shrugs, that was pretty intense. And I said, I feel like you're chipping away yeah. here to, to set up for the sled. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. Hopefully I, I make it to that after this. You're gonna make it. All right, all right. You're gonna make it, it's just after that. It'll be so we just got, we got some leg work here? Yeah, I mean, you gotta have strong hips, you gotta have strong glutes, you gotta strong, have strong quads. The leg press is a great way to do that. If you've already done a bunch of like squats and deadlifts yeah. and all that other stuff. This is a safe way to overload your quads and get some work in. Yeah. So we're gonna start with this. 
we'll work our way up till it gets to one good heavy set for okay. each of us. And then we'll go out and do this. How much do we have here on it right now? Right now you got 270 up here. Yep. And then you got 400 here. So that's what, uh, 670? 670 plus whatever the machine weighs, but I never count that. Yeah. So I love the idea of lightweight for Nick Best is beyond pounds. fathomable to most human beings. Just so, Sorry. you know, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you would have been that dog. I'm looking at you. I go, wait a second. How much is on this? So no, it's yeah. look okay. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, but I'm telling you, yeah. if you're gonna do a heavy yoke, I mean, this is in regards to straw man, yeah. but it helps with the yoke. It helps with all the moving events. This helps with your squats. This is to add in though, you should always do squats, but you only really wanna do squats like you deadlift heavy one week, yeah. the next week you do heavy squats. You spread those apart, so this is a good thing to fill in on the day where you did deadlifts. <laughs> Hundred pound plate hold. Who could hold them the longest yeah. for twenty seconds? There are a hundred each. Yeah, hundred pounds each. each. All right, the final, final, the final piece to finish it for the day. What do we got here, Nick? All right, well we're gonna do sled drags. Right. And we got 500 pounds on top of 150 pound sled, so it's 650 pound sled drags. And we're gonna go down 20 meters, yep. and then you're gonna take it back, and then Justin's gonna take it back, and then I'm gonna take it back, then you, then Justin. A little group work at the yeah. end. Yeah. All we're right. We're try to blow up our legs. It's like doing two really crazy fast sets of leg extensions with 650 sack. pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your neighbors must love you here. It's... Uh, they usually don't come out of their houses anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Uh... That was intense, Nick. Yeah. That was uh, good stuff. Man. 650 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Blows your legs up. Yeah, my leg is gone. I can't even bend over to take my knee sleeves off. Thanks. I have to think, I feel like today I got some uh, valuable stuff for me yeah, that I'll be able to take on. Yeah. Just, I appreciate you making the time. Oh, no problem. And uh, because your wisdom is greatly appreciated. I need, uh, I have a lot of work to do. Yeah. And it's, it, it's so it's very, uh, it's cool. You're only 12 minutes away. I know. And uh, this today has been a lot, probably the most one I've had yet. Yeah. Doing funny. these for everybody. Where can everyone find you at, Nick? Uh, Nick Best Strongman on Instagram. Yeah. Nick Best on uh, YouTube. Yep. So hopefully we'll be able to do, do a lot more. Beststrong.com for deal. shirts and whatever. Beststrong.com. Beststrong.com. Good deal, Nick. Well, thank you very much as no, always. Justin, man, thank you yeah. very much for training today. Fun. I thank you oh, very no, much. You. I think after today, I'm not going to be saying feed me more. <laughs> after <today>. Done. <laughs> <laughs>